Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Smart Tips. In this video, we are discuss the types of partial differential equation that is different types of partial differential equation. This is a very basic topic of partial differential equation but it's an, it is an important topic because uh, in different type of uh, set exams or the assistant professor uh, recruitment ke exam hota hai, us exam mein is type ka is uh, topic se bahut sare question aate hai so let's start and before starting the solution i am requesting you to all those who are new and here, please like the video comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel so let's start at first we will see what is pd uh, we all know that the different definition of pd so if uh, a dependent variable is a function of two or more independent variable then the equation involving partial differential coefficient is called partial differential equation we all know the definition of partial differential equation i just give you a recalling or something like that so example is del z del x plus del z del y this is equal to x plus y simple example where x and y are independent variables and z equal to z y x y is the dependent variable and uh, so uh, next we comes to the types of pd so there are mainly four types of pd and uh, in the exams mainly in set exams you give an example to this question paper and you should identify what types of pd is this so first let us come to linear pd so a first order pd is said to be linear if it is linear in p q and z that is if it is of the form you don't uh, remember the definition but you just remember this form p uh, is a function of x y this p stands for first order derivative with respect to x that means del del x and q stands for del del y generally we take the dependent variable e u and z so like that so for an example and this is equal to r x y that means um, r x y to z plus s x y so the coefficient of z here should be the function of x y so for an example y p minus x q equal to x y z plus x so this is exactly the form uh, in the given above this now let us come to next uh, which is called semi linear so first order pd is said to be semi linear if it is linear in pq and coefficient of pq are functions of x and y only that is if it is of the form p x y into p plus q x y this into q this is equal to r into x y z sorry r of x y z here uh, the difference between linear and semi linear is basically the coefficient of p and q are functions of x y only but this restriction is not mentioned in the linear case but it is mentioned that is an extra restriction is given in this semi linear condition so the example is x y p uh, minus since this is a function of x only so you can take also sin x cos x and logarithm function trigonometry function inverse function and so on in this the in case of capital p x y and capital q x y and this is equal to x y z now let us come to the quasi linear pd first order pd is said to be quasi linear pd if it is linear in pq that is of the form pqz p uh, pqz into p uh, q function of pqz or xyz sorry p function of xyz q function of xyz q this is equal to r xyz so difference between semi linear and quasi linear is mainly is that this p in semi linear it is a function of x and y but in case of uh, quasi linear it is a function of x y and z this is the difference between semi linear and quasi linear for example this is x square plus y square plus z square into p minus y z is equal to z square x y plus z this is the function of x y z uh, this is an example of such quasi linear pd now let us come to the non-linear pd a pd which is of the form that is uh, you should know that a mixed a mixed type of equations which is not belong to uh, the above three category is known as non-linear pd that means a function is of the form f x y z p q this is equal to zero for example uh, p q plus x q square equal to p z this is an uh, this uh, equation does not belongs to the above three categories so this is an uh, example of non-linear pd so 
this uh, categorization that is types of PD is basically based on the first order PD. So in the next video, we will learn how to solve a linear first order PD and nonlinear first order PD. Thank you friends. See you again in the next video.